copyright registration. In this video, we're going to talk about that. I'm going to give you a couple of tips that you can use when you're trying to register your copyright. If you have questions about these tips given in this video, feel free to contact me. Let's begin. In this video, we're going to talk about registration. It's important to know if you want to register and copyright, you have to make sure that you know why you're going to register and what is your purpose for registering copyright. For example, in some country, you need to register copyright, but in other country, you don't need it. For example, in the Netherlands, if you have copyright on something, you don't need to register it. You only need to register it if you want to prove that you are the owner of the copyright and the registration is only aimed to prove that you are the owner of the copyright so just remember that but in other country like the US when you cl claim your copyright you need to register it so I'm going to show you in this video how you can uh, register it in the US I'm not going to show you how you can register it in the Netherlands if you have question about that feel free to contact me but so just remember in some country you need to register it in other countries you don't so let's go to the US US Copyright Office there you will find everything that you really need to know about the copyright so you can read the website you can find a lot of information here about the copyright and even frequent ask questions but if you want to register a work and you have question about that for example how do you register it anything you can find it here normally when you register here something at this office you just need to apply a form fill the fill the form in and after that you send the form you can do this also online you can also do this offline for example if I design a logo for my company I want to register I will go to their website fill the form in put the logo on it put the logo on it because they need to show know what kind of uh, copyright you have on what image or what footage and then send the application after that if everything goes all right I will get a positive reaction from them that I got copyright on that logo so that's how the process work in some country you need to do that in some country you don't in the Netherlands you do not need to register copyright because when you design the logo you automatically have copyright on the logo the problem is when you design something the date when you design it is really important if someone is claiming that they designed the logo it's important to know who came first and that's why is registration of a copyright in the Netherlands important if you want to be first it's important to register the copyright so you always have proof that you were the first one with copyright on the logo so in the Netherlands you are not obligated to register the copyright but it's handy when you want to prove something when something happened in the future so that's how the registration of the copyright work in the US and the Netherlands <laughs> This is the end of the this is the end of the video. In this video, I showed you how you can register your copyright. If you have question about the tips given in this video or anything related to copyright, feel free to contact me. See you in the next video. Thank you.